hello hi talofa welcome back to my channel uh today's mukbang is about fish and chips um greek salad i've got a greek salad there and then i've got the chips a uh, piece of fish uh prawn cutlets calamari ring and seafood steak i think i've already said mm. but you know you gotta double um make sure anyway guys I saw this uh, pineapple Fanta. Well, pineapple drink anyway, made from Fanta. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do it like um, the New Zealand stuff. Guys, back in my drinking days, spoon, lighter, anything worked. Cheers, guys. Mm. Should I put it here? My glasses are for my glasses are forever. You know, like especially when it's hot. I can't turn the air, air on, but this is what you hear. Does it want to work? <laughs> anyway, you'll hear it in a minute. Can you hear that? Yeah, it's pretty loud, eh? Or well, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Anyway, it's a bit uh, loud, so I'll turn it off. And now, um, anyway, I have a, a tartia sauce, you know, with, for this. Anyway, I love Greek salad. And I love the, um, the little black olives they have. What, mm. Okay, where do I start? Anyway, how's everyone been? Huh? I know I uploaded a video not too long ago, but now I've been noticing people, you know, seem to upload more. And here I am with my stingy one video per, like, fortnight or something. So I think, hey, I better quit it, eh? I better do what other people do. Mmm, oh, seafood stick. Mm hmm. Cucumber. Mm. Yum. This is a uh, feta. This is a goat feta. This is. I prefer it too because it's nice and um, soft. I don't know what fish this is, but the batter tastes nice. Really crunchy. It looks dark, eh? But yeah, but light. Mm -mm. Cheers, guys. I remember when I was a child. I think these was um, five cents, and the bigger bottles were like ten cents. And it was always a pleasure to see one on the ground. You know that someone would discard it on the ground, and us kids would go get it just to buy us some lollies and. Bubble gum, you know, and if you buy, and if you 
And if you catch, um, like if you find heaps, yeah, you can buy heaps, see? You've got a wedge of lemon here. And I'm going to squeeze it all over here. Mm-hmm. I'll try out this cutlet. This is prawn cutlet. Mm-hmm. Not bad. I've got my tip of the day again today. Mm-hmm. It's just on subject that, you know, I want to bring up. I did one the other day. Having the day before yesterday. Look at this. It looks like an onion ring, eh? It's a calamari ring. Um, excuse me. What's this pointy pointy thing? Looks a bit, it's red. Nah. <laughs> anyway, stop it. So guess what? Halloween to buy it. So what are you guys planning for Halloween? My birthday today. So I don't know, did I just dodge a bullet? Should it have been better that I was born on Halloween or on the 30th? This plate I got my food on. It's shape as a um as a shell, seashell. <laughs> so so it goes good with what I'm eating. This is good. Sometimes it's nice to have a fish and chips. But my best way to eat a fish and chips is um, go down by the beach and just sit there and eat. But if you're in New Zealand, it doesn't take long. The seagull thinks, you know, that they got the invite to, to come and eat. Mm, yeah, go somewhere. But then you feel sorry for the little buggers, eh? Because they come around and they you come around and then I want them. But once you chuck that first chip, it's oh, you just invited his whole family. I love these black olives. I didn't used to like black olives, but um, when my husband used to work as a security guard, there was this Tongan man that he worked with, 
and um, he would eat a lot of um, olives, you know? a whole jar of it. Like they used to go and buy um, like a whole chicken and bread and everything, and then they all sit down and share it. But the talking man, he always had a jar of um, and olives. And mind you, at the time, whenever you hear olive, it's like, mmm, yuck. So when you said that the stronger man liked it, I thought to myself, no. Nah. If he likes it, then I can like it too. So guess what? If your book will win and got some. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I went got me a little jar. I ate it. Oh, it was not nice. And I thought, nah, you're gonna like this by the end of tonight. And this was nice. Little by little. Mm. That time, man knew what he was talking about. So, it's so nice. I tried to get my older sister Flossie into it, but. <laughs> it's a piece of, piece of fishes. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a son named Noah. He's similar to me. If we eat a food and we like it, we got this humming or this mm -hmm. we just do it. I don't know. Sometimes we don't know we're doing it. Oh far out. What is it? Naughty. Hmm? I'm marrying. It's a squid. Hmm. You know, it's funny that I can open up um, bottles, right? So when I used to drink back in the days, some guys they can't even open it up. They try with, with the lighter. They need a can opener. So they turn around and go, hey, no chuck it here, let me do it. <laughs> but the best thing is, did I saw? Was on the movie Once We're Warriors. I had a lady, a Beth opened up the the beer with the egg flipper, the spatula. Oh my gosh! I think did she just do that? I ain't gonna practice. Is that even true? Does that even happen? What do you think, New Zealanders? Tell me. Can you open up a, a bottle of spatula? Because if you can, hey, I'll go and do it too. You know me, when I'm determined. When I'm determined. Oh, this is my nice. I'm going to quickly get this done. Mm. Oh, God. Mm -mm -mm. Tomorrow's Halloween. I was thinking of wearing a mask. And then I thought, now nah, I better not. I might get a comment like, I thought you were really wearing a mask. Ooh. And then I'll okay. go, right. Email me your address, woman or man. Nah, I like to joke around. Don't take it seriously. Anyway, guys, look at all this tomato. Hmm. Anyway, guys, I just want to say, hey, you know what my tip of the day is? Okay. Okay, stop eating. Get serious.
My tip of the day is saving. Okay. I tell you, I was the worst saver and I still am sort of thing, but I really wanted to save up and get to a certain um, number of what I can save. So what I did, I started saving like $50. I started saving and you know, I always thought, you know, if I, I, I spent a lot, I spent a lot and um, I was sick of spending a lot, right? So I thought, I've got to learn something better, you know, than spending up all my money. So after paying the house, the, the food, everything that has to be done, no, I would spend the rest. I thought to myself, why be stupid and do that? You know? So I started saving away like $50 a week. And I saved and I, and I always thought, some people like me that spends a lot, they shouldn't even look at their, you know, their bank account balance. So if you want to not touch what you, you're saving away, don't look at the balance. Just tell the bank people, don't send you any statement to say what's happening, what's in there, whatever. Just have a, and have a joint account. That's what I done. I did, I did a joint account with my daughter. Yeah. So she went away to America for a year and I was, you know, saving, deducting and I, I would have that 50 always banking and if I had extra I will go and put it in that account but I never ever looked at the amount a year later my daughter came back and then since we got a joint account it, it's you know she noticed it and she goes mom do you notice you got this amount of money you know like and I go yes I do don't look at it and then she said you get this money you know it's like the way she asked me it's like I, I went and um robbed a bank or something no i just saved and i never looked at that because i tell you if i look at the bank balance so if you look at if you look at your bank balance you'll be tempted to especially if you're a spender like me so if you if you just bank away and don't look at your bank balance like just don't you just keep banking away and if you can't afford fifty dollars a week like do 20 you know or and do 20 and if you got extras just keep adding it in but never go back and touch it and then you know you'll be surprised like aim for a goal like for a whole year or for two years you won't touch it you won't touch it at all even if there's an emergency unless someone passed away and you truly need that money, then I guess you are you know, and you got nothing else. But if it's just normal stuff, like um, you want to get a car or something like that, you know, just to have fun with it, you know, like, just don't touch it. Yeah, just leave your bank balance for the bank to know. But you don't have to know, okay? That's what I'm saying. So for just over a year, I kept... If it wasn't for my daughter that returned back from America that, you know, said, do you know you got this much, you know, oh, bugger, just leave it alone, just don't look at it, just just don't tell me, that's what she told me, right? And I thought, oh, that's a big amount, wow, yeah, wow, man, yes. Anyway, so I said to her, don't touch it, because, you know, I, I have a goal, <laughs> and I just want to bank away, anyway. So, I just do that. That is my tip of the day. Is if you want to save, bank away, but don't look at it. Don't look at it. Even if you're tempted, don't. Because once you know, it's like, it's in the back of your mind. So when you want that new pair of jeans that just came out or something, or you're going to think, oh, yeah, my savings. But no, just pretend it's dead money, gone. You know, just, be, just pretend it doesn't ex exist. Just don't touch it. Don't touch, okay? Yeah, just do that. Make it a nice habit of knowing how to save.
save, put away. You know, there's a fly that just flew past. And now I just want to get up and find it and, and uppercut it. How dare it. Okay. Guys, I just wanted to tell you guys about my, my tip of the day. Because that's what I've done for, for myself. And, you know, if you can't do it, like... You know, like, oh, have I got a fringe? Yeah, well, that's my tip of the day, guys. You know, if you got a spare money that's just lying around that you know you don't need and you got their savings, go and um, do a joint account with the one that you trust and have two signees. And then, you know, you're not going to be easily tempted to go and touch it because you can easily um, have access to it. But if you have a joint account with someone that you can trust that when you say, hey, 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 I want my money, they're going to sign. But if you know you don't trust that person, then that's it. Okay? So now that I've finished my mukbang bang, mukbang bang. Man, I like that accent. Mukbang bang. Nah. Anyway, now that I've finished my mukbang bang, <laughs> my fish and chips and uh, heaps of tomatoes left. Okay. I just wanted to get this over done with, my fish and chips out of the way, and my tip of the day out of the way. I hope it helps because I'm telling you, banking and looking at it, at the balance, it does not help for a spender. Just bank away and don't look at it. One day, after a year, you might go and look into it because you're due for a holiday, a well-deserved holiday. Then you're going to get your money up. And go splash on yourself. Ah, yeah. Okay, you guys take care of yourself, okay? I hope this, you know, this tip of mine helped. Helped you because it surely helped me because I'm a spender and I, and I just think, you know, there's no tomorrow the way I spend. Yeah. You know, and I've got clothes for days. You know when you go to the shop and you see a sale, oh, you get excited and then you go and buy it. And you know what my daughter tells me? I've got the worst um, dress sense. She she doesn't have nice things to, t to say to her mother, eh? But when I look in the mirror, I agree. <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm laughing because it's true. But hey, we're not all born to be stylists. Faithful art, we are. Faithful art, tell my mama. Okay, guys, you take care. Thank you for watching.